Grant Denya, you've had some fun on the weekend. Oh, did so. Did so. Went to the kids' <laughs> school fair, which was... Uh, each year, it kind of gets a little bit bigger and bigger, and we kind of look forward to it, and, and my daughter, Sailor, definitely does. And it's a gorgeous little school. It's a cute, cute little country school. And we get there, and we thought, let's get stuck into the activities, guys. Let's just go hard. How excited are you? Look at oh, his face. Man. It was really good. <laughs> let's, this jumping castle. Let's get to the jumping yes. castle. They're on the jumping castle. you're allowed on, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm below... The height of the rope, is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. Yeah, 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 thanks. Yeah. Uh, we're on the on the jumping castle, <laughs> and there's this is one kid. There's this one kid that's just up, like face up against the wall. And I go, "What are you? Why isn't he jumping like the rest of them?" And little little Timmy, little Timmy's just there, just just licking the wall. No, you know, like having a having mm, a good go at it. Mm, like, mm. Do you know, I reckon I know what that tastes like. When you said that, that sort of hard. Rubber, yeah, like, yeah. like what a floaty tastes like. <laughs> like what a. Fl- <laughs> well, he, I think he thought it was like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or something. Oh, like that, every different oh. color of the jumping castle was a different flavor. Because oh. I'd, I'd see him wander around to another spot and just, oh. yeah. I just have a good lick. <laughs> I go, mate, you, you're not getting the principle of the jumping castle right here, my friend. No, the licking castle's over there. <laughs> And then, then Adults we went on, only. We went past the <laughs> we went past the cow pat bingo, which was good fun. Oh. Cow pat bingo What's is that? where. What's cow pat? Yeah, you put you put like a cow in a pen, and then you ride on the ground with paint. Like uh, that's number <gasps> number numbers one to one hundred, and then you you get to the draw. Like you pay five bucks to get your number, and if the cow does a cow pat or a poo on your number, what? you get the prize. How do people always try and get number two? <laughs> 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 That is a fantastic game, by the way. Isn't it never, good? Yeah. Never heard of that in my life. Oh, you've never seen a bunch of people hanging off a fence screaming <laughs> in anticipation for this terrified cow to drop one. We should, I we think should it get, did it in fear more than anything. We should get the cash cow to do that. Could we oh. get... <laughs> Sorry, I, I hate to Do they That's feed the cow specific things beforehand? Oh, to it's make fully sure loaded up. It's waited, fully loaded up long. before the event. So, oh, yeah, otherwise that, that could go all afternoon. <laughs> Okay. And then we, when we go over to the Dodgem cars, right? There was Dodgem cars there, which was which was pretty hectic. And my little daughter loves to steer. Like I, we we have a long driveway. She's I let two. her, I let her drive, <laughs> I let her drive on in the car and, and turn the wheel. And then she sees, you know, the bloke who when you get stuck, you know, when you can't go backwards, yeah. and the yeah. attendant yeah. comes along and yeah. hops on the back. Yeah. She noticed he'd put a foot down on the ground. Oh no! And she, <laughs> she was like, I saw her eyes just go like dinner plates. <laughs> And she could see not just another bumper car that she could bump, but a human. Wow. She, she was okay. She diverted her no. course no. away from the other cars to see old mate who's got his foot on the ground on the back of someone else's bumper car. Bam! Straight into the back of the leg. <gasps> he collapses into our into our Dodgem car. So we're, there's now three of us in there. Oh, and I'm God. holding this guy who's <laughs> He's like across both of our arms while he's kicking and flailing and screaming while Sailor's like got this maniacal laugh <laughs> she as she drives off. She she is refuses to stop. No, no, she's a yeah, she, yeah, yeah, they, she's yeah. yeah that's gonna... Everyone in the studio is looking at me like nodding and this yeah, is a warning sign. Is, yeah. Yeah. So what about the performance? Get, tell Where's us about that? the performance. So then we got to the kids on the band stage and we thought, Oh look, here's a here's a nice little track, boys light up, nice Aussie classic. Right. Yes. What playing to the audience, loving this. And then I heard the line, hopes are up for trousers down. And I went, I don't know. I don't know if this song what? is actually for 10-year-olds oh who are playing it. Yeah, this is, this is, when, they, when they got to this bit, I got really concerned. Do you know this bit? Uh-oh. Mother's little helper is coming out for more. <laughs> Strategically positioned for Here we go. So, I don't know if you know the history of that song, my friends, but that is a song about a woman removing a vibrator from her bedside drawer, watching the midday show on TV and having the time of her life.